What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. Our 2023 college football predictions continue for the 2023 college football season. Up next are the Northwestern Wildcats, a team coming off a really terrible season last year in 2022. Uh, they only won one game last year. Of course, that was the early um, game that they won last year was Nebraska in Ireland. And it was a terrible season last year for this Northwestern team. They were not, you know, really consistent on both sides of the football. You know, things just kind of got really falling apart for them as the season went on. So I thought this Northwestern team was going to be pretty good last year. I thought they would challenge for the Big Ten West last year, but this team was obviously one of the worst teams in the Power Five, you know, teams. Out of all the Power Five teams, I think, last year in 2022, my thoughts on them for 2023, I think they're going to be kind of the same thing. I think it really comes down to the offensive side of the football, though. If Northwestern could score some points, I think this team could be good. But if they don't score some points, I don't think this team is going to be all that good. I'm not really high on Northwestern this year, even though they got all them players coming back this year. But I just don't think this is going to be a really good team. You look at the schedule, they'll play UTEP. They'll also play Howard, and they'll also play Duke in the non-conference. That's a rematch from last year's game. Uh, they'll play Duke on the road this time. That's a team that's returning a lot of production. And you look at who they play outside of the Big Ten West. Uh, they'll play Maryland at home. They'll also play. Um, they'll also play um, Penn State as well at home, and they'll also play the Rutgers uh, on the road as well. So they don't have a pretty tough draw there outside of the Big Ten East. Um, they do have to play, of course. Um, you know, they do have to, of course, play Penn State on the schedule, but. Oh no, not really a I mean not really a tough draw there outside of the Big Ten East, but let's go game by game now and give you an official prediction for this Northwestern team. And I've kind of had a hard time, you know, predicting Northwestern's record, so it may not be the best. I don't think Northwestern fans will like this prediction, but it's kind of hard to tell how good this team is going to be for 2023. You look at that first game, it starts with Rutgers on September the 2nd. Pretty good game here to start off with Northwestern and Rutgers. Uh, both of these teams are kind of coming off similar seasons last year. Uh, Rutgers had more wins than Northwestern, but this is a tough one here um, for Northwestern, especially when it's on the road. It's not really a tough place to play at Rutgers, but I've had a hard time picking this one. I've been back and forth on this game for a little a while but I had to go with home field advantage in this game due to it being a tough one to call 50 50 game for me I'm going to go with the Scarlet Knights here to knock off Northwestern here to open up things for Northwestern in 2023 so I think Northwestern starts out 0-1 and then they take care of business against UTEP here um, at home on September the 9th so I got Northwestern starting out 1-1 and then they'll play Duke on the road here on September 16th a Duke team that's got a lot of production coming back. This is a game I don't really see being all that close. A North, North, Northwestern is a Power 5 team, and it's going up against another Power 5 team. But I just don't really see this game being all that close. I think the Blue Devils have the better roster. They have the more experienced roster in this game as well. I think Duke wins this one by at least a couple touchdowns. I'm going to go with the Blue Devils here to knock off Northwestern. And this is a rematch from last year's matchup. And I think Duke will win that one, and they win two years in a row. And I think Northwestern's record falls to 1-2. and two. Then it's Minnesota at home on September the 23rd. Minnesota's a team that's going to kind of take a step back here this year. They lost a lot of production from last year's team, but I think this is still a good Minnesota team, a team that's willing to run the football on this Northwestern defense. And like I said, I don't really see Northwestern's defense being all that good this year, and it's just really hard to tell how good this team is going to be with the roster they have. I know they had a real, I have a really good roster, but but I just it's hard to tell how good Northwestern is going to be. But I think Minnesota, with them, you know, with Northwestern being at home, I think they will compete in this game. Maybe for the first half, but second half, I think the Golden Gophers will pull away. And I like Minnesota to get a win here over Northwestern at home. And I think Northwestern's record now falls to one and three. Then it's Penn State at home on September the 30th. Uh, Penn State. This team has way too much talent. I don't think Northwestern will compete in this game. I think Penn State wins this one pretty easily um, by at least a couple touchdowns or maybe more than that. So I think the Nittany Lions will win against Northwestern here. And then they take care of business against Howard here on October the 7th at home. So that puts Northwestern's record at 2-4. and four. They get a bye week after that game, and it comes at a pretty good time. They play Nebraska on the road. 
And I think that's going to really help them out going into this game against Nebraska. Both of these teams are pretty similar. They're not in a rebuild mode like Northwestern is not in a rebuild mode, but Nebraska is. However, this game is on the road. It's obviously going to be a tough place to play. I think this game can go all into the fourth quarter like it did last year. Of course, Nebraska made that terrible decision by the end of the um, you know game and everything. But I think Nebraska has the better overall roster in this game. I think they're out for revenge in this one. I think the bye week does help out Northwestern, but you know it won't be enough. I think Nebraska wins here at home, and it's kind of tough to predict against Nebraska at home when they're playing at home. So I think Northwestern will lose a close one to Nebraska on the road. That puts their record at two and five. Then it's Maryland at home on October 28th. So you got Maryland at home here. This is a potential win here for Northwestern, but Maryland's going to have a high-powered offense. They're going to want to, you know, run the football in this game, pass the football down the field. I think Maryland's got way too much talent. I think they're kind of similar to the Penn State team. I think this team is going to be loaded on offense. Talia Tagovailoa back at quarterback, veteran experienced guy. I think Northwestern competes for the first half, but second half that Maryland offense will start to get going. I think the Terrapins get the win here over Northwestern, and that puts Northwestern's record at two and six. Then they'll play Iowa at Chicago here in a neutral site game. Um, Iowa is a team that's kind of similar to Northwestern. You know, both rosters are pretty even between these two teams. And I did my Iowa prediction, you know, a few weeks ago, and I did predict Iowa to win this game due to the most experience coming back for this team. I think the Hawkeyes have the more experience in this game, and they obviously have the better roster. And usually when I predict these neutral side games, I usually just go with the um, most returning production coming back for either team. So I think Iowa... They win this game by at least maybe about a 10-point or maybe double-digit favorite in this game. I think it will be a close game because it is, a, it is a neutral site game. So I think Northwestern will lose that one to Iowa, but I think it will be a close one. So I got Iowa beating Northwestern here. Puts their record at 2-7. and seven. Then it's Wisconsin on the road on November 11th. No chance for Northwestern, I think, to win this game. I think Wisconsin is kind of similar to the um, Penn State and Maryland game. They just got way too much talent on their roster. And they're kind of similar to Duke as well. This team has a lot of experience coming back, and but I just don't think it's going to be enough for Northwestern to pull off a huge upset here. And I think Wisconsin is the better team here, and I think they give Northwestern their eighth loss of the season. So that puts Northwestern at 2-8. and eight. Then it's Purdue at home on November 18th. This is the game I think Northwestern can win. I think this is the game that they could probably win here. Uh, Purdue is kind of in a rebuild mode. Uh, they're kind of similar to the Nebraska team, but this time they get this game at home. They're not playing on the road at Purdue. If this game was on the road, I would per Purdue, pick um, you know, Purdue to win this game, but it's obviously a tough one for me to pick because Purdue is got a new you know era coming in and kind of a new rebuild mode and a start over mode for this Purdue team. And I think Northwestern, with them being at home, I think they're kind of desperate for a win here. They're on a four-game losing streak, and I think they finally get a win. I think they finally get a win here in the Big Ten at home against Purdue on November 18th. So I think um, Purdue fans won't like that pick, but I think Northwestern fans at least do get a win here in the Big Ten this year. Then it's Illinois on the road to end things out on November 25th. A really good Illinois team that's really going to be good this year. I kind of expect this team to kind of be the dark horse contender in the Big Ten West, I think right behind Iowa and Wisconsin. I think you cannot sleep on this team. And this one's on the road. I really don't see Northwestern going on the road and defeating Illinois. Like I said, it's hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell how good this team is going to be. So I think Northwestern will lose their final game on the road here at Illinois. And I got Northwestern finishing 2023 with a record of 3-9. And, you know, that's just a, you know, that's more wins than last year, but I just don't think it's going to be enough for them to get to a bowl game this year. I know they got a decent roster. They got, you know, some options at quarterback with Ryan Holinsky, but it's just hard to tell how good this Northwestern team is going to be for 2023. Um, this team could probably go 4-8 and eight or 5-7, and seven, but... I just don't really think Northwestern is going to win more than three or four games this year, perhaps. But I think 3-9 um, and nine is my prediction here for the 2023 season for Northwestern. I think some people have had a hard time with Northwestern's prediction as well. But give me your thoughts on this Northwestern team. What do you think their record is for 2023? And stay tuned here for more sports content videos on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.